Today's story is A Big Quiet House, a Yiddish folk tale from Eastern Europe, retold by Heather Forrest and illustrated by Susan Greenstein. There was once a man whose house was very small. It was cluttered with things from wall to wall. Every day he would say in a miserable way, I need more room. One night he tossed and turned in his bed. His wife's snoring and his children's giggling annoyed him. He covered his ears and grumbled. There is too much noise. If I had a big quiet house, I'd be able to sleep. As he lay awake, he thought about the wise old woman who lived at the edge of the village. Perhaps she can solve my problem, he muttered. He threw off his covers, jumped out of bed, and went to seek the wise old woman. He knocked impatiently at her door. She slowly opened it and said, It's the middle of the night. Why are you here? I can't sleep, complained the man. My wife snores the whole night through. My children annoy me by giggling too. What is a tired man to do? Can you possibly solve my problem? I need a big, quiet house. The old woman scratched her head. She considered a moment and then she said, solve your problem? Yes, I can, but first I must think of a plan. Her face spread with a smile. Go home and bring a big red chicken in the house with you, she suggested. A chicken? asked the man a bit bewildered. He went home and did as she told him to do. She was the wisest woman he knew. He caught his big red squawking chicken. He brought her into the kitchen and let her go. The chicken strutted under a table. How is a chicken going to make my house bigger, he wondered. He went to his room, climbed into his bed, pulled the covers to his chin, and tried to fall asleep. Meanwhile, the big red chicken crept out from under the table, wandered into the children's room, and began noisily pecking the son and daughter. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. The wife tumbled with a thump onto the floor and chased the chicken. Feathers were flying, the children were crying, the wife was sighing, and the man couldn't sleep. He threw off his covers, jumped out of bed, and went to the wise old woman's house. He knocked impatiently at her door. She opened it and said, it's the middle of the night. Go to sleep. That's impossible, he moaned. I brought a big red noisy chicken in the house with me. Feathers are flying, my children are crying, my wife is sighing, and I can't sleep. Can you solve my problem? I need a big, quiet house. The old woman said, solve your problem? Yes, I can. I just didn't tell you the whole plan. She considered a moment and suggested, now go home and bring a goat, a horse, a cow, and a sheep in, t in the house with you. A goat, a horse, a cow, and a sheep? The man exclaimed. But he went home and did as she told him to do. She was the wisest woman he knew. He herded a goat, a horse, a cow, a sheep into his house. Ah. 
Then, climbing clumsily over the animals, he got into his bed, pulled the covers to his chin, and tried to fall asleep. The sheep began to loudly sit and baa. The goat chimed in with a lively ma, And the cow joined in with a melodious moo. The horse snorted and grandly sang too. Nay, nay, nay. The singing and snorting woke the big red chicken who wandered into the children's room and began noisily pecking the son and daughter. Ba -ba! The wife tumbled with a thump onto the floor and chased the chicken. Feathers were flying, the children were crying, the wife was sighing, and the man couldn't sleep. He threw off his covers, jumped out of bed, climbed over the animals, and went to the wise old woman's house. He knocked loudly on her door. She opened it and yawned. It's the middle of the night. You should be asleep. That's impossible, the man shouted. How can I sleep with a chicken, a goat, a horse, a cow, and a sheep? There is no room to walk in my house anymore. Animals are everywhere from wall to door. It's even noisier than before. Feathers are flying, my children are crying, my wife is sighing, and I can't sleep. You said you could solve my problem. I need a big, quiet house. The old woman replied, solve your problem? Yes, I can. I just didn't tell you the whole plan. Now put all the animals back where they belong. Good idea, exclaimed the man. He went home, gathered the animals, and herded them all into the barn. Then he returned to his house and opened the door. To his amazement, his house was not small anymore. He, started, he stared at with wonder at the rooms. Now that all the animals were gone, his house seemed so empty. It looked remarkably bigger. He climbed into his bed and pulled the covers up to his chin. Without the singing and snorting of the animals in the next room, his house was so quiet. He could hear the gentle snoring of his dear wife beside him. He heard his children giggling too. These ordinary sounds were no longer noise. They were music to his ears. He smiled and thought, what a big quiet house. The next time I moan the whole day long, complaining about what is going wrong, I will stop and count my blessings first. You know, it could always be worse. And with a big sigh, he fell asleep. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Um, I thought it was probably very appropriate for right now because even though we're because we're all quarantined and we're we're all stuck in our homes with our families and we probably feel like we're running out of room. And the point is it could always be worse. <laughs> I don't know how, but it could always be worse. So let's always count our blessings and be thankful for what we do have, that we have our families right there with us and we can, we can think of wonderful things to do to make good use of our time. So 
I hope you enjoyed this story and I'm going to be back real soon with another one for you. Okay, bye!